In the previous video we set up our inventory widget that you can see here and made it so that our slots are updated when we pick up an item. Also we have this little close button here that currently doesn't do anything. So we'll work on that today. As well as trying to add some drag and drop functionality for our inventory widget so our player has the ability to change the inventory's position on screen. Alright, so exit the play mode. And first we will give our player the opportunity to close and reopen the inventory widget. So for that go under blueprints and in your BP inventory we will create two new functions. The first one will be called show inventory. And the second one hide inventory. For that functions we also need another variable called is visible question mark that one will just tell us if our inventory widget is visible at the moment or not so let's do our hide inventory function first drag in the inventory widget and search for set visibility make that to hidden then you can set our is visible boolean to false and after that drag in the inventory widget once again and set is enabled to false as well. So our widget won't be shown and it won't receive any input anymore. After that you can add a return node and compile that. So because our show inventory function does exactly the opposite we can copy all of this by hitting command C, go into our show inventory function and paste it here. Then you want to change the invisibility to visible, our is visible boolean to true, and the is enabled to true. Then simply add a return node. Compile and save. Now that we've got our functions, we need a way to call them. For that one, we will go inside of our top down BP folder under blueprints and in the top down character. You can right click and search for I. When we press the button I, we want to get our inventory reference and search for our boolean is visible. Now we will need a branch so that if our inventory is visible, we will call our hide inventory function. And if it isn't, we will call our show inventory function. In addition to that, we want to go to our widgets folder and on the inventory widget, there is our little close button here. Select that one, select the button and scroll down to add an event for on clicked. And when it's clicked, we grab our inventory and call our hide inventory function. Compile and save everything, close it. Before we can actually test, you want to go to the Blueprints BP inventory and the is visible boolean should have a default value of true because we show our inventory when starting our game. So now we can test. And if I hit I, it's hidden. Press I again and it will be there. And I can also press our close button here. Now let's add some drag and drop functionality for our inventory widget. To do that, go inside of your drag and drop folder and right here create a new blueprint class. For the parent class, expand the all classes and search for drag drop operation. Select that one and we will call that widget drag. Inside here, we will need two variables. One is a reference to the widget we want to drag. So call it widget to drag and for the type search for user widget reference and then we will also need a mouse offset which will be a vector 2D. Also both variables should be editable and exposed on spawn so that we can set them when we spawn our drag and drop operation. Compile and save. 
that's it already for our drag and drop operation close that and now you want to go to the widgets folder and to your inventory because this is the widget we want to drag on our graph here you want to override a function that is called on mouse button down so when we press the mouse button here and you want to search for the function called detect drag if pressed so in here you can define a drag key and basically when any mouse button is pressed it will check if it is the drag key here and if it is it will detect a drag so search for a left mouse button because we want to use the left mouse button to drag things and for the pointer event connect that to the mouse event of our function and the return value to the return node that's it for our mouse button down we also want to override another function called on drag detected because when we detect drag we want to create a drag and drop operation for the class select the one we just created which it drag and for the widget to drag you will search for a reference to cell because we want to drag ourself also connect the self to the default drag visual because when we drag around we still want to see our inventory widget for the pivot mode choose mouse down so it pivots to the point where we click our mouse and now we need our offset don't use the built-in offset of this function that won't work so we calculate our mouse offset with our mouse position on screen from our pointer event search for get screen position and the problem with that is that it's now in absolute coordinates so we want to drag of the my geometry input here and search for absolute to local and plug in the return value of our screen space position for the absolute coordinate and the return value into our mouse offset now just connect the create widget drag to our return node and the return value to our operation compile and save when we play test now you can see that i can drag around my inventory but you see that there is still another one and that is because in our inventory when we create the drag and drop operation we choose ourselves as default drag visual and the default drag visual will automatically be added to the screen so after we created that we want to get a reference to ourselves and remove ourselves from the parent which means basically hide the inventory file and save when we now play can see that I can drag around my inventory but if I drop it somewhere it will just be deleted so that's something we need to fix now go inside of your main widget because that's the widget where we will drop it in and before doing anything go to the main widget in the hierarchy here and make sure that its visibility is set to visible because otherwise it won't notice our drop then go to the graph and override a function called on drop and the first thing you want to do is get our operation and cast it to our widget drag and that way we check if the operation that is dropped here is really our widget drag and not something else because if it is something else we don't want to do anything so off of here so show sure return mode and you can leave the return value as false but if it is our widget drag then off of it you can get the widget to drag because now that will be added to the screen again added to the screen added to the viewport sorry connect it and we also want to set its new position for that we will need to do some math get our pointer event again and get our screen position like we did on the drag detected convert it to local so absolute to local and off of it we want to subtract something 
and that is the mouse offset of our drag operation. So the result of that will be our new position and you can get the widget to drag here and set position in viewport to the new position. Also don't check remove dpi scale and after that you can go into the return node and check the return value. Now compile and save and we should be able to test. I can grab our inventory and drop it here and it will snap there and stay there. If I close it and reopen again it will still be at the same position. Okay that's it for this episode. In the next one we will probably extend our inventory functions so that we can split stacks, remove items or use items. See you then.